Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Tiffany. I'm with Tifton Studio just outside of Chicago and I am a resin artist. Today I'm working on some dice um, and I'm using the dice mold from Bear Woods. These are really nice molds and um, each tray or each um, mold itself takes about four ounces, three and a half to four ounces of resin. So to do the entire set, you need about seven to eight ounces. Um, what I'm going to do is make a two color dice. So I'm going to just do the first layer in all of these is just going to be black. And then I'm going to come back in and do a second layer. And I'm going to be using the glitter, the coral reef glitter from Bear Woods for that second layer. Um, and then after I demold, then I'll show you how I put all the little dots and lines on everything. So to start with, um, for the first layer, I've just mixed up four ounces of resin because that'll fill everything about halfway. Um, for this project, I'm using the Tabletop Pro from Moss. Um, this is a really nice epoxy but the work time is only about 20 to 30 minutes so i like to use that epoxy for projects where i'm not doing anything that's going to take a long time if i'm mixing up a lot of colors or if i'm doing like a bloom um, like a flower pour or something that's a little more intricate the tabletop gets thick too fast for how I work. Everybody works differently and it might work perfectly for you um, for the speed that you go at. I find I'm a little bit slower. <laughs> so I like to use the Moss Art Pro for those kinds of projects. Like if I'm making coasters um, or like I said, anything where I'm using a lot of colors and I have to do a lot of mixing, I'll use the Art Pro. But for something like this, the tabletop is perfect. So let me just hit this with a heat gun real quick. Get rid of those bubbles floating on the top. So um, for the black, I'm gonna use the Armor Art black pigment paste. And let's see, four ounces. I'm gonna start with 10 drops and just see what we get from that. Um, I want this to be very opaque. I don't want it to be transparent at all. And this um, Armor Art paste is very thick. It's hard to squeeze out of here. <laughs> so bear with me while I try to get 10 drops. That was one. <laughs> it's not really coming out in drops. It's more coming out in streams. So I'm just going to have to kind of guess what about 10 drops will look like. We'll start with that. And whenever you mix pigment, you always want to scrape the bottom and the sides just like you do when you're mixing up your resin. You want to make sure it's the color is mixed all the way in. And when you think you have it mixed in, mix it some more. Because <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've poured and then that last half ounce or so, it's like, ugh, the color wasn't mixed all the way. All right, so this is still transparent, so I'm just going to add some more. Okay, so that's nice and opaque. It's right where I want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fill all of these cavities up about halfway. I'm gonna try and 
get them all to about the same level. And you could use a piping bag or maybe a, a paper cup where you can pinch it and make a little spout. Because it is definitely harder to have more control with a big cup like this. All right, so before I add more, I'm just going to hit it with a heat gun. I want to try and thin it out a little bit so the resin spreads so I can gauge the depth better to see which ones really need more. Alright, so I'm going to let these cure overnight and then tomorrow I'll come back in and put the um, glitter layer on. So I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, I am back. The first layer is nice and cured, so it's time to put the second layer on. I just left a resin fingerprint. <laughs> Guess I have resin on my glove. All right, so I've mixed up, um, I did three ounces this time. The four ounces that I mixed up for the first layer was a little bit too much. I had about an ounce extra. So I thought I would just do three ounces. Hopefully that'll top them off nicely. So for the um, glitter, I'm adding the Coral Reef from Bear Woods. And I'm just gonna grab my little spoon here. I want this to be fairly um, dense, solid. I don't want it to be real see-through. So I'm gonna start with two scoops of the glitter and we'll see how that mixes up. I can always add a little more if I need to. It's going on top of black, so I don't want the black to take over and kind of make the glitter not as bright so i want to make sure i've got enough glitter in here to combat the black background you can see it's a little thin so i'm going to add one more scoop And that's a heaping scoop. This spoon, um, it's probably about a teaspoon, but like I said, it was quite heaping. Just giving that a good stir. So that's better. It's, it's definitely more dense with three scoops in there. So I'm going to go with that. Now, um, glitter tends to either sink or float, depending what it's made out of. And I, because I have so many little cavities, I don't want to just pour. Because what's going to happen is there's going to end up with more glitter on the bottom. So the glitter is not going to be evenly dispersed. So I'm going to have to stir it quite frequently to make sure that all these little cavities have the same amount of glitter in them. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did when I did the black. I'm just gonna put it in with the stick. So it takes longer, um, but I have a lot more control over it. I'm gonna probably wait about five more minutes and I'll hit him with the heat gun again one more time just to make sure there's no bubbles. Um, but we will be back to demold these and then I'll show you how I do the dots and everything on the other side. So see you when it's time to demold. Okay guys, I'm back. Everything's demolded. You can see how nice they turned out. That glitter is just gorgeous. 
So now it's time to fill in the dots, get those painted up. So what I usually do on something like this is I use a metallic paint pen. And it's pretty simple. You just need a paint pen, paper towel, and some Windex. And this one's finished, so you can kind of see what it looks like. And these come in all different colors. They come in silver and gold too, if you like something more neutral. But I decided to go with this teal because it looks good with the glitter. So all you do is just fill it in. And you can see it goes over on the edges. That's real, real easy to remove. So you just take a paper towel and I just do one very light spritz of Windex and fold it in half. You don't want it soaking wet, you want it just damp. And then all you do is just a, a quick wipe. Super easy. You don't want to overdo it and wipe too much because you will wipe the color out. But if you do that, just let it dry and then go back in with your paint pen and then wipe it one more time. But there you go. That's all there is to it for the numbers. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you again next time. Mm -hmm.